It's 5 a.m. Uh, actually, it's 20 to 5. I've just picked up the Fish Pro from work and I'm about to go out and see if I can chase some fish on it this morning. Chase the mackerel. There is bait absolutely everywhere out here. I'm just like pulling lures through this bait. It's just football fields of it. Like it's absolutely everywhere. There is just acres and acres and acres of bait. So like literally scalies, I think they are, or muleys. They're just everywhere. There's birds working them. Absolutely everywhere. I've been pulling lures now for about two hours, I'm about six tuna down. I'm gonna just try and hopefully find that. Oh, and we're on! We're on, peeps! Here we go, giddy up! This is about my fifth bluefin, southern blues, you can see there on the ski, just using a very entry level combo, Halco Laser Pro, and we're just trawling all this bait. Cool little trick here is if you hold these guys upside down, they kind of just go to sleep. And as soon as you put them in the water, a few kicks, he's bleeding a bit, but. And he's off, off and racing. You see him there? He's just cruising down. If you have a look there, there's another little bait fish just cruising down there as well. So we're gonna put lures out and we're gonna head over to where all that bait is over there. So I'm heading over towards these birds now. You um, should be able to see them on the screen in a sec. Sun's up, it's now 7.30 a.m. Um, we don't get many glassy days like this off Perth. So it's awesome to be able to cruise out and actually see all the bait. I've only got one lure in, like I said. Uh, you can see there's a bit of current here too. It can be in dirty water, sitting up against the clean water. So that's always a good sign when you're chasing pelagians. Whenever you see this, there is birds smashing bait everywhere. It's pretty cool, this sort of side off first. Like I said, we don't get many clean water days like glassy conditions. We're going to have to start cruising in in a minute because I'm almost going to oh, oh, there we go, we're on, guys. Once again, we're on. Woo! The conditions are still pretty magical. I'm just like in about 15 metres of water for the lures the last time. Uh, just off turn, you can see, I'll see in the background, I'll get back to around about 15 minutes, get back once I pull the lures in. That's good, they got the ski on the current day. You can get in and out of this place so quick. It is magic. I've noticed there is jellyfish. Everywhere in this little close sort of shallow reef area, there's just jellyfish. There's not much bait in this shallow water, like all the bait was going to be deeper. So, I'm just hoping for a last minute Spaniard. So, today I went trawling for mackerel off Perth, which wasn't as easy as anybody ever expects. I had a few questions about what combo I was using. 249, we have them in stock here at HQ. It's just a pen score combo. They come in a few different sizes. I'm running 80 pound braid. Sorry, not 80 pound braid, it's 50 pound braid. And I'm running a shock leader. So this is Varavas, and I don't normally troll with braid. If I'm chasing bigger fish, I'll run mono or a really long top shot. But I'm running a 100 pound shock leader, which is quite stretchy, quite a lot of give in it. So it's been, ended up being okay. I didn't pull any hooks, which was good. Every hook, every fish I hooked, I landed. Um, they were only tuna. Lure I was asked about as well, it was just a Halco Laser Pro, Pro. I had two of them and I lost one the first troll. As soon as my lure hit the water, it lost it. So I don't know if it was my dodgy knot or, you know, it could have been like snipped off by a mackerel, I wish. Who knows? But yeah, that's the Laser Pro. I was using a 160 in Perth. Main reason running a 160 is because our bait is smaller. So they're chasing um, scalies more muleys rather than tuna and bigger fish so match the hatch run a slightly uh, small lure and the green has always been a good winner for me I love a green lure they work very very well cheers guys